What is up guys, your boy Boyo is back, and welcome to the first official video of Nintendo Month, and the second video of Nintendo Month overall. Because, you know, um, the opening doesn't really count, I was just asking for your guys' requests. Now I did get one request here on my YouTube comment section by Wild Bill Hofton, one of my subscribers. And he said he wanted me to review his album. However, I'm not sure if um, that is really a Nintendo-related request. But if it is, I'm willing to cover it. And it will make a grand total of 10 videos for Nintendo Month. But he deleted his comment. I don't know why. I'm going to have him meet me in YouTube chat. Just to make sure it's all Nintendo-related and whatnot. To see if I can feature it here on the channel or not. Anyway. Today we are talking about um, F-Zero X, as you can see. And I'm going to be pointing out the flaws in F-Zero X. And so, without further ado, this is everything wrong with F-Zero X. Number one. Now, this is not really a problem I have currently. It's just a problem I used to have. And that is a stored up robot back before I bought the game. I used to think the robot kind of had a weird voice, and I thought it sounded kind of awkward. I thought it was kind of a weird way to start the race. Like, three, two, one, go, whatnot. I mean, they could have just done it with music, like they do with Mario Kart. They had that musical countdown with the three little horns counting down to the start of the race. I mean, they could have had that, but I've slowly grown used to it. And I think I could grow to like it now. And it's really no longer a problem for me. I'm pretty much used to it at this point. Um, number two is... Um, let's see, what is number two? Hard levels. What should I say that? Yeah, number two is hard levels. Now, every video game has hard levels and... Most hard levels in F Zero or uh, are typically tracks that are towards the end of cups, not the ones in the beginning. And so, um, yeah, it took me forever to pass the King's Cup, but I did eventually pass it. I, I think that was the King's Cup. Or no, I think the King's Cup is the one I'm currently on. I passed the Jack Cup and the Queen Cup. I think I'm on the King's Cup now. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. But every game has hard levels, and so it's not really that big of a problem with F-Zero X. Because, like I said, there's always going to be a hard level no matter what game you play. Well, maybe not all games, but most games are like that for the most part. Number three is clipping through walls, and I've only noticed this with one race. I think it's um, the third race of the Queen's Cup. I can't really remember the name of the track that it's on, but sometimes I'll come off a ramp, and if I land on the wrong spot, I'll clip for the wall and fall and die. And so, yeah, I really think that's a real problem, but it's really only a problem with one track. It's one of the earlier tracks in the Queen's Cup, I believe. I don't know what it's called. But yeah, that's a real, that's the real problem that Nintendo needs to fix. If we, if F-Zero ever sees the light of day on Switch. Number four is a lack of walls on the tracks. Now, this is typically a problem with harder tracks like Big Blue 2 and stuff like that. There will be a lack of walls and it's much, much easier to fall off and I have to change to a higher setting. I have to change my speed even higher, which actually slows you down. Which actually takes me to my next point in accurate settings. But yeah, um... A lack of walls could really be very annoying 
because it just makes it much easier to fall off. Anyway, my next point that I just stated is um, one, two. You know, I I lost count at this point, but my next point is um, inaccurate settings. Now, I will be if if I change the speed to go all the way up, my vehicle will go really slow at first, and it will slowly build up the speed over time. I don't know why that is, but hey, I, I mean, at least it's not. Like, you're going super fast at first, because then the vehicle will just be uncontrollable, so... Yeah, I'm kind of glad that Nintendo made it like that. To where it, like, builds up, goes faster and faster over time. On top speed. So I wouldn't necessarily call it... I would call it somewhat inaccurate, but I'm kind of thankful that Nintendo made it that way. And I think my final point, the biggest problem I have with F-Zero X overall is the narrator just being unfair. Now, my point is, so I, if you've ever played F-Zero X and tried to restart a race... Or just fucking automatically die. I mean, if I was in a fucking super high speed spaceship and I hit the fucking reset button and my vehicle all of a sudden exploded, I would be pissed. I'd probably fuck it. I'd probably be fucking dead. But if I press the fucking restart button, I, I that means I want to restart, not fucking self destruct. It's not a fucking self destruct button, Nintendo. You sons of bitches. Why the fuck you got to make it so unfair? Like, why can't we just fucking restart the race without having to die? Why'd you have to make it that way? Why? Like, just why? I really hope I don't see this problem in other F-Zero games if I ever touch another F-Zero game. But yeah, like, Nintendo, seriously, why the fuck did you have to make it that way? Why can't you just let players have a fair chance and let them restart? Like, never do this again, Nintendo. Never do this again. And that is pretty much everything wrong with F-Zero X. I will be pointing out the flaws of many other games. And you guys will find out what those games are when I make those videos. And yeah, this is going to do it for this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.